and the questions beginning with interrogative words like what, why, were, which, when, who, etc. can be changed into indirect speech in the same manner. Okay, clear. Next, the questions beginning with have, has, will, may, do, did, is, are, etc. which requires a yes or no answers, how they will change the indirect speech, let us see. In indirect speech, the reporting verb said is followed by the whether or if conjunction. Here, instead of that, we should use whether or if conjunctions. For example, is your father in? He asked. Is your father in? He asked. In indirect speech, he inquired whether or if my father was in. He inquired if my father was in or else he inquired whether my father was in. Here, what happened instead of the introductory verb, we, we used inquired and is became was and the conjunction whether or if was used. Clear my dear friends? See some more examples. Do you know English? Rita sir. Rita wanted to know if I knew English. Here, no became new and see Rita wanted to know whether I, kn I knew English or Rita wanted to know if I knew English. This is one of the best example. See next, have you done your homework? The teacher asked. Your teachers might be asking you all the time that have you done your homework my dear child in such a way. See the teacher asked whether I had done my homework. Here the convention whether or if is used and I have became had. The teacher asked if I had done my homework. In the sense, in such a way, we can uh, change the sentences of direct into indirect speech for yes or no questions in the interrogative sentences. Clear my dear friends? You might be asking, suppose if there is any discussion in your class, if the teacher scolds you, you will be taking the same information and giving it to your friends. How? Teacher said that I am a waste fellow in such a way. You will express your feeling to other person that is indirect speech, the words which are spoken by your teacher will say to your friends in such a way. In such a way, we use the indirect speech. Clear my dear friends? Okay. Now, let us say take this third type of tenses that is imperative sentence. Do you all know what is the meaning of imperative sentences? The imperative sentences means the commands or requests. The imperative sentence means it shows the sentences which shows the commands or requests. See here, the sentences containing an order, warning, advice are called as the imperative sentences. See here, in these introductory verbs said has to be changed or replaced by asked, requested, implored, advised, warned, etc. The verb in the direct has to be changed to the infinitive in the indirect. See my dear friends, we all use the conjunctions like that and in some cases we use the whether or if, but here we have to use a two infinitive, change the infinitive beginning with the two in the di indirect. See one example, keep quiet, he said to them, he asked them to keep quiet. What he have did here? The infinitive beginning with two is used, he asked them to keep quiet, in the sense it changed. See here, he asked them to keep quiet, here to keep is a two infinitive. This is a, one of the examples for imperative sentences changing into the indirect speech. See some more examples. Please give me a pen, he said. Please give me a pen, he said. He requested me to give a pen. Here, he requested me, me to give my pen. Don't read so fast, she said. She advised not to read so fast. It's an advice. So, she advised not to read so fast. To read is a two infinitive used here. Clear my dear friends? Now, a note all for you, do not forget it. When lettuce in the direct expresses a proposal or suggestion, the introductory verb should be changed to suggested or proposed. If the direct speech, it is starting with the let, then suggested or proposed we should use. And the verb should also be used instead of the two infinitive. Take an example. Let us have a party on Sunday, he said. Let us have a party on Sunday, she said. In indirect speech, what it becomes? 
she suggested that they should have a party on Sunday. She suggested that they should have a party on Sunday. Here, this is a suggestion. The sentence is beginning with the let is a suggestion. So, suggested is used and the conjunction that is used and should is placed. She suggested that they should have a party on Sunday. Let us play cricket, they said. They proposed that they should play cricket. That they should play cricket. Here, proposed is added and a should. The auxiliary verb should is used. Clear my dear friends? This is all about the sentences which uh, begins with the let. And the fourth type of sentences are the exclamatory sentences. See my dear friends, the exclamatory sentences. Do What do you mean by exclamatory sentences? The exclamatory sentences is nothing but it is a kind of declarative sentences, but it expresses some emotion, some excitement. They are called as exclamatory sentences. So, I think you all all eagerly to know how the speech changes into indirect in the exclamatory sentences. Let us see. The exclamations or wishes. The reporting verb should change into an exclamation or a wish. Words like exclaimed, declared, cried out, wished, prayed, etc. should be used in the place of said. And the interjections and exclamations of direct speech should be omitted. Clear friends? See here. You all know this is the exclamatory mark. This is the exclamatory mark. While changing the sentences of direct into indirect, we should omit, we should omit the exclamations. We should exclamate, we should omit the exclamatory marks. Okay? See some more rules to change the exclamatory marks. Phrases like with delight, with sorrow, with regret are often added to bring out the intensity of feeling. To bring out the intensity of feeling, we should use the phrases like with delight, with regret, with sorrow, etc. So, see some examples, my dear friends. Oh, I have broken the mirror, he said. In direct speech, he cried out with sorrow that he had broken the mirror. He cried out with sorrow that he had broken the mirror. To bring out the intensity of feeling, he cried out with sorrow is used. So, that it will become, he cried out with sorrow that he had broken the mirror, have became had here, right? And the second example is, may God bless you, the granny said. Granny prayed that God might bless me. Granny prayed that God might bless me. Here, the granny is wishing the child, is praying to the God that the child should be safe. That the granny prayed that God might bless me. Clear? This is all about the exclamatory sentences. And next, the one more example. The recent World Cup, the Australia had won, right? In that, hurrah, we won the match, the boy said. The boy shouted with delight that they had won the match. See, here also, the, to bring out the intensity of feeling in the boys, it is used that shouted with the delight. The boys shouted with delight that they had won the match. Clear, my dear friends? Yeah. That is one of the example for the exclamatory sentences. See here, the direct and indirect speech. See the PPT, my dear friends, that indirect speech. The direct speech is nothing but it reports someone's wording. And indirect speech is nothing but it reports someone's meaning. Okay? See, these all are about the sentences changing the direct into indirect speech. My dear friends, today you have learned what is direct speech what is indirect speech and some more characteristics about direct and indirect speech and some examples for that and you have also learnt how to change the speech in the tenses that is present tense, past tense and future tense. In that subdivisions too, how to change the tense you have learnt. And that too, you all also know about the types of sentences that is declarative, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory sentences and how to change in such case of sentences to indirect speech. That too also you have learned today about speech. And in the examination, when you get any question in direct speech, you can follow all these rules. You can remember all these rules and you can um, write in the examinations. Here you also learned about the quest, the speech, the statements which are beginning with let, which are beginning with let. For that, we should use the should. Clear? So, let us uh, prepare a chart for clear understanding. See, 
the summary chart what you have learned today see the change of direct speech into indirect speech my dear friends you have learned how to change the speech in tenses and sentences then in that sentences you have learned about declarative imperative interrogative exclamatory you all know the sentences and uh, sentences beginning with let right my dear friends see once again you see the important thing of uh, when let is uh, used in the direct expresses the proposal or suggestion see that hello 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 when let in the direct expresses this is, Nagesh, uh, this is nishant from biknur okay hi what's your doubt my dear swero paro i would like to ask a question okay carry on what could you please uh, uh, explain could you please uh, explain okay when let in the direct expresses a proposal or suggestion the introductory verb should be changed the suggested proposed and we should use the auxiliary verb should along with the verb instead of infinitive clear my dear friends so now let us once again summarize our topic so let us go into the first hello hi hi hello gaulin Hi, how are you? Can you explain some more example, some more characteristics of indirect speech? Okay, definitely, my dear Swero. You want the characteristics of direct speech? Okay, see, the characteristics of direct speech. It's a original quotation of talk. It is always placed between the quotation marks, and it is always preceded by the capital letter. I already said you before with an example too. She said, "How old are you?" and she said i love violet color these are the examples for that see it's a original quotation of talk and it is always placed between the quotation marks and it is preceded by the capital letter clear my dear swero okay thank you and now let us continue our uh, topic see my dear friends speech are of two kinds the best example which is given to you in the front is all about the secretary sir what his views on the gauli dodi yes next the direct speech what is direct speech the actual words of a speaker is known as the direct speech and its characteristics the example that she said how old are you and uh, she said i love violet color some examples of direct speech and in direct speech if the speech is reported by someone else it's known as indirect speech its characteristics and one of the example for clear understanding these are the changes affected here that the comma and the quotation marks will be removed all the time in indirect speech and the conjunction that will be used and the pronoun i became she and verb want became wanted like that these are the simple rules for changing the direct speech into indirect speech hello hello my dear swero hello hello see my dear friends the second rule is that the words which expresses the nearness will change into the words which expresses the distance that is this will become into that these will become those in such a way we have already learned that next dear friends in the simple hello. present hello 
Hello. Hello. Hello, my dear Swero, what's your doubt? Hello, Madhuri. This is Principal Pramoda. Good afternoon, madam. How are you, madam? I want to ask you one thing. You are simply superb. Is it that? You are simply superb. Is it direct speech or indirect speech? Madam, once again, please. It's a direct speech because it, they, they are the words which are coming from you, right, ma'am? They are the words which are directly spoken by you. So that is direct speech, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for call. And the next thing of the present tense is the present continuous, which will change in the past continuous. And before that, the simple present change into simple past. And the present perfect will change into the past perfect. And the present perfect continuous will change into the past perfect continuous. Then in past tense, the simple past may or may not change. If there is a change, it changes the past perfect. And in past continuous, it will change the past perfect continuous. And past perfect does not change. And past perfect continuous does not change. Future simple will will change to would. And will be changes to would be. Okay, my dear friends. Let us take one exercise. See here, my dear friends. Let us take an exercise. See in the PPT, the first thing, he said, my name is Akshay. In indirect speech, he said that his name was Akshay. Simple present is changing into simple past. Then, mother said, they are watching TV. Mother said that they were watching TV. Here, what's happening? The present continuous is changing into the past continuous. Next, we have killed the tiger. They said, then they said that they had killed the tiger. Here what happened? The simple present is changed to simple past. Next, she said, I have written my exams. She said that she had written her exams. Okay. Next, he said, I have been waiting for the bus. She, he said that he had been waiting for the bus. He said, I went to Hyderabad yesterday. I went to Hyderabad yesterday. Here, this is in the past tense. That means it will change to the he said, I, he said that he had gone to the Hyderabad the previous day. Yesterday will become the previous day. Rita said that they had been singing on the stage. What it will become? Rita said that they had been singing on the stage. Hello, he said, where are you going? He greeted me. And asked where I was going in indirect speech. Let us have a picnic on tomorrow. She said. She said that they should have a picnic the next day. Tomorrow will become the next day. And Lata is washing clothes. Meena said. Meena said that Lata was washing clothes. What did it become? Meena said that Lata was washing clothes. In such a way, the direct speech, the statement in the direct speech will change into the indirect speech, my dear friends. I think you all uh, are clear about the topic, uh, direct and indirect speech. How to change in the tenses, sentences, that is declarative, imperative, interrogative and exclamatory and in the sentences which are beginning with a let. Clear my dear friends? And one thing I want to say to you is, the English, the sweetest language through which we can attract the hearts of the people. So learn it, learn by practice, learn by writing, learn the grammar speak in English. The points, the point to point, if this is the matter, what we have to use, think about it. Practically, you think about it. You learn it. You speak it. My dear friends, clear? And dear friends, I want to say one thing, a great quotation given by a great person. That is, the best way to plant a tree is 20 years ago, it seems. The best way to plant a tree is 20 years ago. But I will say you that the second best way to plant a tree is right now. So everyone march towards the progress of the world and do place the swearos in the first position. Clear my dear friends? Yeah. This is my message to you all from all the swero Gaulians. This is Madri again once from the Gauli Dodi, a swero Gaulian. Thank you. Thank you my dear friends.